up? This is Nine Live Software, and today I'll be showing you guys how to use the Joypad in any iPhone app. So if you guys want to learn how to do it for Coco's 2D, I'll have a link in the description for that. So I'm going to do a view-based application and do iPhone, and then press choose. I'm going to save this as a Joypad example. Okay. So first we need to declare some stuff in the dot h of the view controller. So after the first color bracket, I'm going to do an IB outlet, space UI image view, space star uh, user. And then I'm do an IB outlet, another UI image view, and then do joypad cap. Enter twice, I'm going to do ns timer, oops, space star game timer. Okay, and then I'm going to do a bool, and this is going to be joypad, moving, and then I'm going to do a cg rect, and then do joypad, and then do a u integer, and then do joypad, center x, and then comma, space, joypad, center y, comma, joypad, max radius, and then do joypad width. Okay, and then do an integer and do joypad touch hash. Do cg point and then do joypad cap location. And then I'll do one or two more float touch angle. And then do another float, and this will be distance. So I'm just going to give you an overview of what this does. Okay, so these are just the outlets for interface builder of the user and also the joypad cap. The NS timer is the game timer, like um, how many seconds it is for, like, if telling whether it's moving or not. The bool tells whether the joypad cap is moving or not. The CG rect is the bounds of the joypad cap, like wh how many, how more, wherever you can move it. And then the joypad, this will be the center, the x and y coordinates, the whole radius of the joypad, and then the width of the joypad. The touch hash is, is going to be the during the touches moved events. The CG point is where the, it's going to be like the center of the uh, joypad, that's where the cap is located. The touch angle is where, like the, it's where the touch angle is, like where you ang where you touch it, the angle of that. And then the distance is the touch distance. So now I'm going to go go my .m file. So I'm going to do dash void, and then we're going to do the touches began method. Okay, and so in in here we're going to do ns set space star all touches space equals space event all touches and then we're going to do for space parenthesis ui touch star touch is in all touches and then inside here we're going to do cg point space touch location and then we do space equals space bracket touch space location in view colon self dot view bracket semicolon enter if parenthesis cg rect contains point sorry about oops point and then we're gonna do joypad oh just just sorry just joypad and then touch location and then we're gonna do and and uh, exclamation point joypad moving parenthesis and then curly bracket and curly bracket and then we're going to do an ns log just to tell whether it's moving or not I'm just going to say user is moving okay and then I'm going to do joypad moving is equal to yes and then do joypad touch hash space equals space touch 
space hash. Okay, and then I'm going to do another one and do an another void. This is going to be the touches moved event. So touches and then moved. Inside here, we're going to do ns set space star all touches space equals space event all touches. And then we're going to do for parenthesis ui touch space star touch in all touches. And then we're going to do cg point touch location space equals space bracket touch space location in view colon self dot view. And then we're going to do float space dx is equal to parenthesis float joypad center x space minus parenthesis float touch location dot x semicolon. Okay, so I'm just going to copy this right here and then paste it down here. And then I'm going to change the x's to y's. And so that's all I can show you right now. This will probably be a few parts, so stay tuned. Thank you guys for watching, and please subscribe. See ya.